Ringside Views, theboxingvoice.com. Here with Regis Prograce. Regis, how you feeling? I'm cold, bro. You just you just saw I got the um the ice bear, the ice bear, bro. So I'm I'm freezing right now. I'm cold. I did ten minutes. And you just did a grueling eight rounds, right? Ten tw- rounds. Was, was ten, it ten rounds? It was ten a day. Ten. Yeah, hard ten rounds. Yeah. Man, so talk to us, man. Look like you've been having a lot of fun recently, right? Right before camp, right? Uh, I mean, I guess that's, if that's what you call fun, this, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, um, yeah, we went to LA. We went to LA for three weeks. We did that out there. Um, it was cool, but I'm, of course, I'm glad to be back home now. So it just like really when we was in LA, bro, like we was just same thing, training three times a day, and you know, come back here. It's same thing. I seen your thing. horseback riding. Yeah, we did some horseback riding. That was um. We the only off day I get is Sunday, so we okay. we took um one of the off days and just did That's some little awesome. horse. Yeah, did some. I, I it's like you know like when, so when I go out to like when I go out to LA, it's like you kind of got to balance it. You know what I'm saying? So you can't like have too much fun, but you don't want to be sitting and bored at the same time. So you know we find little things to do. Maybe go on the beach, do some horseback ride, go to movies, that type of little stuff while I'm in camp and stuff. I can't go to like strip clubs. I can't go travel. I was I really dog. No, the first week I got there, I was about to go to Hawaii. Yeah. I was thinking about going to Hawaii yeah. for the weekend. I was you like traveling a lot. Though. Yeah, I was like, man, I was telling them, I was like going to Catalina, I had to go to Hawaii. I was talking about going to TJ, but I was like, man, he was he was telling me, man, oh, man you tripping, bro? You a camp? You can't go to fucking, you can't go to TJ or whatever. So I was like, all right, bro, whatever. So I chilled. So March nineteenth. Yeah, versus finally got, a fight. finally got a fight versus Tyrone uh-huh. McKenna in Dubai, man. Yeah, in Dubai, talk to us. How excited are you about that? One of the things you told us in the and last interview. Traveling. Yeah, one of the, like, the one of traveling, the things you, you told us in the last interview was that you wanted to fight around the world, and now here we are, first fight first. with, with Probellum. You get to fight in Dubai, right? I, bro, crazy, crazy, bro. It's a crazy experience. I get to fight, like, like I said, I'm fighting in Dubai, like. That is like insane. Dubai is a fire place. I went out there the first time a few months ago, in December, and bro, like the, Dubai is like fire. And so to like to be able to go out there and fight, that's like it's crazy, bro. So I mean, I'm, I feel like, um, you know, I did, the, I made the right move right now. You yes, know, sir. with the whole Probellum thing, I definitely feel like I made the right move. They told me, positive, they, positive. yes, definitely feeling positive. They told me three things, you know. We talked about that on the last interview, so it's yeah. already your first fight, even though it took a little minute. Right. You yeah, it took a little country. minute, but yeah, they told me I'm gonna be active. 2022, I'm gonna be active. I'm fight three times a year. I'm gonna fight all around the world, and then I'm gonna fight for the belt again. Be a world champion 2022. So, so Tyrone McKenna is not a known name. Mm-mm. So this is just an opportunity for you. It's a stepping stone, not to overlook Tyrone McKenna. Yeah. But you see it as an experience right now, just to just to get back in the. Just for me, man. Listen, mix. bro. I don't like for me at 140, bro. I told. I don't care who you put in there at, like at 140 with me. You know what I'm saying? I just don't care, bro. Like for me, I want to be a champion again. So they just the WBC just mandated this. This is mandatory. This is gonna be the um, final limit. So that was this my final, next question yeah. for you. So mm-hmm. how you? So this is so this is gonna put you in position once once Josh Taylor because he got a fight coming up this weekend versus Jack Catterall, yeah. which we'll get into. This is gonna put you in a position to get that that vacant title once he once he moves up. Correct? If he does move up or not, yeah, WBC. most likely he probably move up. But if he doesn't. Then You're me and him right will fight there. again. I'm right there. So Either if he way, does, so doesn't, I'm still right there. Basically, the next fight, I'll be fight. after this next fight, I'll be fighting for the belt. Okay. Jose mm-hmm. Cepeda's number ranked number one right there in the WBC. Yeah. So that's a good fight too. Not overlooking Tyrone McKinney. No, of course not. Yeah. I mean, you know, whatever. What can you tell us about Tyrone? I don't know too much about him. The I, I just call him the Unabomber. I talk shit about him. Hey, I just bro, call him the Unabomber. Yeah, yeah, I just call him the Unabomber. Well, I talk like a little shit about him. Was it like a press conference? You wanted that was like the, y'all first time. We talking. did. Um, nah, it was. Um, we did an interview. We did like a Zoom together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we did a little Zoom together and shit like that. So, I just you know I teased him a little bit. That's all. One one thing that I I see with you coming back, like I don't want to say like a resurgence, because I guess we see you all the time, right? right Us, right. me, or Ringside Views, the boxing voice, we see you all yeah. the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the the casual fan doesn't. And one of the things that Tyrone said was that. Like you're kind of washed, you're 33, like, you know right. what I'm saying? And that's like a misconception, I feel, but that's us because we follow you. Your right, 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 right. So mm-hmm. to, the, to the casual fan or the fan that doesn't follow you, what, what do you what do you say to that? I mean, listen, bro, they can say all that stuff all they want, you know what I'm saying? I don't, like, I can't even believe, like, he said, I'm washed, I'm yeah. washed. Like, what? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, that's you how you feel? You seem like you were shocked about that. Yeah, I was like, what? Yeah. That's, I mean, but at, at the same time, I think that he has to have something in his mind to what? Uh, you know, it's like, yeah. Um, he was. He said that I party a lot. 
Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he, he's like, he follow you more than... I was you like, know. yeah, I was like, what a party you like? That's, that's the, I guess that's the conception. You know what I'm saying? Like that's, that's what y'all, pre- I said conception. That's the perception. Yeah, that's the, yeah, that's the, yeah, that's what y'all think about me. Like I party a lot. Because you post those videos, you. but you also post your, your trainer videos. Yeah, so, yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. we know, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Like we know that right. you're in the gym all the time. And right, every right, right. day that it's a part of your lifestyle. But it's just, for me, I was just as shocked as you were yeah. hearing that to think that the, he was the, saying the I wasn't. Public yeah. might think that you're washed out here. And he was like, like I wasn't hungry, and I'm like, I'm like, all right, if that's yeah, you know, if that's what you're banking if that's on, what, yeah, if, if that's what you're you banking on, you know, I'm not hungry, that I'm older, like, bro, that's what you, all right, <laughs> that's what you're banking. On. All right, that's cool. And I feel like, bro, I'm like, I'm more hungry than ever right now. Like that's, I like, I was world champion, number one in the world, and. I did all that stuff, like not even being serious about boxing. Like, don't get me wrong, I was serious, like as far as inside the ring. Because I always you got you was a nutritionist in- now. Yeah, I was always like trained hard. Don't get me wrong, but like on the outside the ring, like in in camp, I just like once I'm done training, I'm done for the day. I'm I'm gonna have fun. I'm going whatever, do whatever I feel like doing. Like you, you know said what I'm saying? Last time, you 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 being more professional about your. I'm profession. definitely more professional right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm just definitely more professional and. Like I used to train like once a day, two times a day. Now I'm training three times a day, every single day. So it's a big, big difference right now. Like, so I'm just, the hunger is, for me right now, the hunger way is stronger. I want to be a champion. Like I have to be a world champion again at 140. Are you working with uh, Declan Walsh? Yeah, Declan. Mm-hmm. So yeah. 140, so, so 140, you're, gonna, you're for sure gonna make it. I'm gonna, gonna worry about for that. sure. I don't like, for a long time, I did everything wrong. I'm not gonna lie. For a long time, I did just, Sitting in the sauna, killing myself, eating the wrong, like eating all the wrong shit. So now, um, and then the fight, it was always two fights for me. When they when they announced the fight, it's like, all right, I gotta fight this dude. But the first fight is the weigh-in. Now I know I don't have to worry about that at all. Like I don't, I don't have to worry about weight and all that stuff. Like now I know it'll be done. It'll be taken care of. I'm good. I don't have to worry about that. I, I had a nutritionist. It's something I should have been done a long time ago, but. You know, we had a, like old school type approach. Mm-hmm. We was always sitting us on the run with the sauna suits on, and I had a small mini camp, bro. And this dude, like, I didn't sit in the sauna one time. He told me I got sauna suits sitting over there. He was like, bro, no, don't put that on. You don't need that at all. And just through nutrition, I made the weight. It was crazy, and I made the weight in less than like it was like less than two weeks or something like and that. And you get to go in the fight feeling great. Exactly. Yeah, so now, yeah, like I said, at first it was just, it was two fights with me. Weigh in, then a fight. Yeah. Now it's just going to be the fight. I ain't got to worry about the weigh in no more. So you was just recently at uh, Mike Tyson's Super Bowl party, correct? Yeah. I seen you hanging out with T.O. Yeah. T.O.'s mm-hmm. moving up his, his way up to 140. Right, right, right. Rumor is he's going to be with uh, Arnold, he's going to fight Arnold Barbosa. I saw that, yeah. And he could potentially face you at some point. Right. How you feel about that? I know y'all sizing each other up. How yeah, you, you know me. What, we, what can you tell us about T.O. that you haven't? I mean, the thing is, bro, we always around each other. All yeah. these fighters, we we just always around each other. Yeah. You know what but, I'm saying? I mean, like, but, but now, Tio's a big name. He's moving up. You know what I'm saying? And, and since y'all mm-hmm. were together, possible fight, possible fight. How you and y'all look cool. Obviously, y'all were hanging out this, this right, right. at the at the, at the uh, Mike Tyson party. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what what can you tell us? Like y'all were sizing each other up. Pause. We all, I mean, we all all the fighters. Every time you always size each other up. That's just how it is. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You kind of looking, but we was like, um, so he was with his people and stuff, and um. Ellie was there. Ellie was like, yeah, they might fight. You know how Ellie is. <laughs> yeah, they might fight each other and stuff. And, you know, and then we got looked at each other. We, like, wrestled around a little bit. And um, that's all. But we was, like, together the whole night. Everybody was just, like, having fun and stuff. And then, of course, um, when I was in Dubai, I was with Taylor, Josh Taylor. We was on the bus together at the same table. They put us at the same table together. Yeah, like, bro, like, that. it's crazy. And then at the um, at the, the, the gym in, in L.A. at Brick House, Zapata came in. He walked in. You oh, know, so you saw, so you saw Jose Zapata also. Yeah. So how you size him up? How was that? Yeah. So you, you know, we kind of looking really at you a know, possible fight since you're going to WBC yeah, round. One, yeah, right? that's what I'm saying. That's a possible a, fight. A so it's all these like, you know, you just all like constantly around these guys all the time, and so you know, you look at him like you cool, but you're looking at him like, yeah. you know. I feel like you're like in now. a good position because uh, I don't want to say like you're 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 like. Like I feel like not your I don't feel like you was inactive. Like you took uh Heraldis mm-hmm. in twenty nineteen and mm-hmm. then you took on Ivan Red Cash right. last year mm-hmm. under the trailer card. So I don't I don't really see you as inactive. It just wasn't like 
what you like you, you know what i'm saying like yeah what you yeah, yeah 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 it was i mean it, they had first they off they had the pandemic they had the pandemic and stuff like that and i mean and they weren't if, like big names i think that's what it was they, they it wasn't, exactly it, was it wasn't like big names you know because yeah. I, I mean like if you look at um josh taylor which is the champion right he fought the same amount of times exactly same amount but of times you know but he, he fought ramirez the first dude he fought wasn't nobody but then he fought ramirez yeah. for undisputed so you look at it like that it's the same thing two fights two fights but you know it's just the name of course the name the name recognition was definitely bigger than mine so what i was saying was i just feel like you're like in a good position because the old crowd has moved up, you know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. then here's a new generation. You got Montana Love, you got T.O., you got right. Josh Taylor moving up also. And it just vacates, vacates the belts, Devin Haney, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I just feel like you're like in a good position. Yeah. And even though you wasn't fighting as much as you wanted to, you, you were still able to hold your position in those rankings where you're still amongst like the top five. And you so right. you're still in contention for any belt, like possibly, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So mm -hmm. well, this one is Final Eliminator, so that's for sure, yeah. you know, WBC final limited, so that's for sure, no matter what happens, if it's the pay, if it's Josh Taylor, or if it's whoever else, like, that's for sure, I'll be fighting for the belt News again. broke out yesterday, uh, Lou DeVella just joined Pro Bellum. I saw that. How you feel about, uh, he used to manage you, correct? Promote. Promote you. Yeah, so I, was, how, I used to be with the Bellum. How mm -hmm. you feel about him? What do you think he brings to the, to the table at, over at Pro Bellum? I don't what know, I guess that's if you working, I don't know, bro, I, just, I guess I'll just be working with Lou again, you yeah. know? That's why it's on his table. Yeah, I guess I'll be working with Lou again. Um, you know, that's that's. A, I guess I I still got Lou number. We still talk every still. now and then, you know. So yeah. I highlight him and stuff. See what's up with it. So Josh Taylor takes on uh, Jack Catterall this this weekend. Mm -hmm. How you see that fight going? I don't know too much about Jack Catterall, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, uh, he's I I met him when I was out there in um in Dubai. He was out there in Dubai too. So I met him and stuff. You know, tall dude. I don't really know too much about him, but from the English fans, they tell me like it's not gonna be a pushover. They yeah. say it's not gonna be a walk in the park for Josh. Josh should win, but at the same time, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be no easy fight, you know. And then this dude been he been getting ready for fucking Josh for a long time, yeah. so you know he gonna come prepared come and ready. Right, he definitely he definitely coming ready, you know. So um, and right now it been like the year like the upsets. I mean like yeah, I get like it, you got Mikey, but, you got T.O. You got Mike, you got Teal, you know they had like huge upsets, but um I don't think like Joshua, I don't think he'll lose right now. I think nah, he's been he's on the road. Home, he's yeah. Home, I think like. he's still hungry. I still I think he's still on the road right now. I don't think he gonna let I still got him. He's maybe. also talking about moving up to one forty seven and I, yeah. I, he's he's had his eye on uh, Terrence Crawford. Yeah. A potential matchup between Josh Taylor and Terrence Crawford. How you see that going? I got Crawford. You got Crawford? Why yeah, you say that? I got Especially if that be his first fight. It, 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 yeah, it, it shouldn't be his first fight. Yeah, I mean, let him. Let well, him he's a big dude. We've seen him together, yeah, and he was feel like, like he need to work his way up to that. Yeah, I mean, skill. Anyway. I mean, you could be big and stuff like that, but Crawford just on it. I just think it's a different level. That's all. I just think it's right now. I think it's a different level. That's that's it. Man, that's all we got for, for right now. Regis, right, man, cool, thank you for buddy. your time. No problem, bro. Yes, sir. The video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the patreon.com. Backslash the Boxing Voice. We have tons of exclusive from Border Wars, Entitled, Betting Shows. The list goes on and on and on. But in addition to that, if you guys have questions for fighters, trainers, and promoters, this is where you can submit them. We will run out, get these questions answered, and put it back on the show just for you guys. Appreciate it. Peace.